Throughout the lockdown, I've been drinking a lot of tea. I've really just been switching between my two go-tos though, chai and matcha. This week I decided to switch it up and try a new tea or tea drink every day. Welcome to quarantine. On Monday, I made a honey chamomile latte. I was kind of intimidated by this one because I've had a couple bad experiences with putting milk in herbal teas that you should never put milk in. But hey, the internet is telling me that it'll taste good, so I'll trust that. So I got my chamomile tea bag, put a spoon of honey in the mug, and just sent it. Update, I'm still not any more cultured than my previous tea video. We are still getting water from the K-cup machine. After steeping for about five minutes, I frothed my milk. Usually I'll do this in the blender, but I found a French press the other day and thought that would work better. I had no idea what I was doing, but it worked. A little too well maybe because I basically doubled the volume of my milk and just ended up drinking only foam. But after the foamy layer at the top, it was actually pretty good. I would definitely make it again with less frothy milk. A little bonus on this one, I posted a picture on my Instagram story and my friend DM'd me saying that she thought that I said chameleon latte and was very concerned. Tuesday's tea was an iced mint latte. This one also intimidated me for the same reason as Monday's. I used four ounces of water this time because the ice melting will take care of the rest. I put some agave in to sweeten it. The recipe I was looking at said to use maple syrup, but I thought that was kind of weird. While that steeped, I unboxed a fancy milk frother that my dad found in the basement yesterday. It was actually really cool. I felt quite professional using it, and I got peer pressured into making whipped cream. I only put that much milk in there. Yeah, go up to the end of the line. No, because then it's going to be super frothy. Yeah, it's gonna be like yesterday where all I'm drinking is foam. Whipped cream. Yeah, I made whipped cream yesterday. <laughs> but I didn't actually end up making whipped cream. I poured that in and it did the really cool milk falling thing. So here's a satisfying clip for you. Then I tried it. I don't know how I feel about that. It's not bad, but like it's weird. At first I didn't know how to feel about it, but it ended up growing on me and I actually enjoyed it. On Wednesday, I decided to go for something a little more simple. So I went to look for a loose leaf tea that I hadn't tried yet. I found this Island Nectar blend. According to the company, this fragrantly sweet iced tea blend is flavored with hints of island paradise. China black tea is blended with tropical flavorings to produce this crisp and smooth tasting blend. I'm not quite sure what tropical flavorings it has, but I put on my best tropical shirt and tried it out. I used six ounces of hot water, put about a teaspoon of the tea in my tea infuser. Yes, it is a frog. And I let it steep for five minutes. Then I added some agave and ice. I also cut up an orange wheel and some pineapple to make it look a bit more tropical. We're really going all in on the aesthetic for this one. This tea tasted really good and looks super cute as well. On Thursday, I tried a London Fog. Basically, it's just an Earl Grey latte. To sweeten it, I used agave as usual and put some vanilla extract in it. After I had already poured it in, I realized that one teaspoon was probably way too much and considered dumping it and starting over. But I just, I didn't want to do that and I just ended up going with it. Since the tea is hot, I decided to heat up my milk too. I just stuck it in the microwave because I didn't feel like using the stove. I put that in and tried it. Too much vanilla. I was right. 
but otherwise it wasn't bad and I'm going to try this one again with an appropriate amount of vanilla. The last day, Friday, I made a maple chai latte. I used one tablespoon of maple syrup and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. I was not going to make the same mistake as yesterday. And then obviously one chai tea bag. Four ounces of water, some ice, and a little bit of frothy milk later, it was complete. And let me tell you, this one was amazing. That one is so good. <laughs> it's definitely going into my go-to tea rotation. That was all the teas I tried this week. I'm thinking about possibly doing another episode of this, so if that's something you would like to see, leave a like to let me know. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you later. Thank you.